But it is Tuesday, and you know what that means. We're going to get started with my favorite segment of the week. This week in Shohei Otani news, another Showtime performance for Shohei in Seattle. He also had an 11-game hitting streak, and Shohei has emerged as a leader on this Los Angeles Angels team. We will get to all of those things. But I want to start with his Showtime performance in Seattle because it was another dominant one, another another dominant start in a row, to be honest with you. He went six innings, six Ks, zero earned runs in Seattle. He was throwing hard again. His slider looked great. Shohei has been looking fantastic on the mound. Now back-to-back dominant starts against two good offenses. The Red Sox are a dominant offense. Seattle certainly has the ability to be a really good offense. They have tons of good players in that lineup. He has looked dominant on the mound. And and I really started to to think about this, and I believe this to be really cool. Shohei has pitched really well in Seattle. So I kind of looked into this, and I thought, well, why? Well, the first thing that comes to mind, and the obvious answer here is Ichiro is there. And Shohei grew up idolizing Ichiro. Ichiro is his idol. And to get the chance to pitch in front of your idol, I mean, how many people can ever say that in their lifetime? That, yeah, I grew up idolizing this guy and I got to pitch in front of him. And every time Shohei pitches, not only in Seattle, but against the Mariners, he seems to do well. So I really looked into this. And in his career, in Seattle, Shohei is 2 and 0. 12 strikeouts and 12 innings pitched, only two earned runs in those starts, a 1.50 ERA. 1.50 ERA in Seattle when he pitches. Also in his career, all together against the Mariners because this isn't, you know, Ichiro can travel with the team as well and sometimes he does. But either way, he grows up watching a ton of Mariners games in his career against the Mariners. 3 and 0 and four starts with a 1.80 ERA, 32 innings or 32 strikeouts and 25 innings pitched, tied for the most wins against any team. That's pretty cool. And yes, another dominant start, another Showtime performance. The six innings, six Ks, no runs. Had two hits at the plate as well, uh, which really just culminates. That's that's what a Showtime performance is. Yes, we know how good he can be on the mound. We know how good he can be at the plate. But the quintessential showtime performance, well, that's doing it both at the same time. And on Thursday against the Mariners, he did it again. And then later in that series, we saw um, the picture came out of Shohei and Ichiro in the outfield. And that's what really got me to thinking here is Shohei just takes his game to that next level when he's pitching against the Mariners. And, And it just hit me. It's Of course he does. Ichiro's there. His idol. And this picture that was taken in the outfield, you can just see the pure joy on Shohei Otani's face. The pure amazement, the fascination, the love that he has for Ichiro. It's pretty special. And again, on Thursday... Shohei had another Showtime performance. So yes, a really cool outing in front of him, but also just building um, on top of his last outing. I said it after that start in New York. He seems to do this every time he has a rough outing on the mound. He clicks it into another gear, and he did against the Red Sox. He keeps it going against the Mariners. Six innings, no runs, a couple of hits at the plate. It has been fantastic to watch him on the mound. Next up, I want to talk about him offensively because he reached an 11-game hitting streak, which in his career is the longest, tied for the longest hitting streak that we have seen in his career. You know, I kind of touched on this last week and started to talk about how his bat is heating up, and it really has been, and it really has been for a while now. And over the last couple of weeks, he's been hitting 300. This tweet, Shohei Otani is on an 11-game hitting streak, and his OPS has risen from 768 to 826 over that period. He's also thrown four shutout innings so far tonight. So that tweet came on Thursday. So yeah, this 11-game hitting streak has boosted all of his stats. And, And I look back and I see over the last two weeks, he's hitting 300. 
That is including the doubleheader in which Shohei went 0 for 9. He went 0 for 9 in a doubleheader, but still was hitting balls hard, had multiple flyouts to the warning track. So he's hitting things really hard lately. Um, you know, on the Sunday game, Shohei Sunday, he always hits the ball hard on Sunday. His first two at bats, he was 0 for 2. Both of those. The first one had a 99.5 exit velocity. The next one had a 101.6 exit velocity, both of which were outs. That's just bad luck. That's what that is. So at the plate, he's been doing fantastic. I would have loved to see him get that that hit the next day and have the longest hitting streak of his career at 12. But still, what he has been doing at the plate, 11-game hitting streak, to raise your OPS that much over the course of just a couple of weeks is, is really impressive, in all honesty. So impressive there at the plate. I've really liked seeing it. You know, I talked a lot at the beginning of this year. It was kind of like, okay, we got to try and find, like, what is he doing well? Okay, this week he pitched well. Let's talk about that. Okay, this week he hit a homer. Let's talk about that. It feels like we're back to talking about the Shohei that we were last year. Doing it all at the exact same time and doing it all really well. It's been pretty incredible. This tweet was great. I feel like we're getting desensitized by Shohei Otani's greatness. He threw six shutout innings tonight, and he has two knocks, and it's almost not that impressive for him because he's so good. And that's such a good point. And I sat here last week and said, you all need to appreciate this more. We are just getting accustomed to what we are seeing. And it's so annoying. What we are seeing has never been done before, ever. And I feel like I say that a million times, and I'll say it a million more until people idolize what this guy is doing. We are going to look back in 50 years and say, I saw Shohei Otani play baseball. I would see him pitch, and I would see him hit at the exact same time. And he'd do it both really well. I saw him become the only player to ever be selected to the All-Star game as both. I saw him win the unanimous MVP. I saw him that next year do more of the same. Don't take it for granted. Please enjoy what we are seeing. This guy goes out on the field, will pitch, and he will lead off that next inning with a hit. It's truly incredible. And he did it again this week. Another Showtime performance. Had the hitting streak go to 11 games. Still hitting 300 over the course of the last couple of weeks. His numbers are rising on the offensive side. And on the pitching side, he's stayed dominant. He's been dominant this year on the mound. I actually really like what I'm seeing this year from the mound. Numbers-wise, I... You can compare it to last year. I believe he is better this year. He's had the couple of blow-up starts that, to this point, have elevated that ERA. But when all is said and done, I think he's ultimately going to be better. Shohei Otani's last two starts on the mound, 13 innings pitched, one run, a 0.69 ERA, 14 strikeouts, four walks, seven hits in his last two starts. I mean it. I think on the mound, he has been better this year. He has those couple of blow-up starts, uh, Rangers and Yankees, that have skewed the data kind of early still in the year. But those other starts have been dominant. I've seen a different Shohei on the mound this year. A more consistent one, one that is able to pull himself out when he doesn't have the best of the best stuff that night. One that is able to work through that. And when he does have his best stuff, there's nobody that is going to touch him. So on the mound, he has been fantastic. And in Seattle, another great start. But before we wrap up here, I want to talk about the leader that Shohei Otani is becoming. And I've been noticing it a lot this year, but none more so than against the Dodgers in Dodger Stadium the other night. The Angels were getting no hit into the ninth inning. And with one out in the ninth inning, Shohei Otani broke up the no hitter with a triple down the line. He ends up scoring, but they ultimately end up losing that game. Now, they had a chance. They had a chance to win that game. They had multiple guys on, nobody out. Uh, Kimbrell on the mound hadn't looked great. They had their chance. The game ends. Shohei had scored his run. They lose. They were, they'd been in the midst of a tough spell. And Shohei, in the dugout, marches up and down that dugout and is talking to all of the players. That is a leader. Shohei Otani is a leader, and it became apparent 
to everybody in front of everybody's eyes. He is walking through, talking to guys, picking them up, saying we're going to be okay, saying we're going to be better, saying we'll get through this. But it's true. They need to be better. They needed to get through that. They needed him. They need Shohei Otani, the reigning American League MVP, to be a leader. And man, that was cool to see. It was awesome to see that. And you know what? I actually earlier this week had Phil Nevin, the new interim manager of the Los Angeles Angels. I had him on Flippin' Bats, so if you haven't, go back and listen to that episode. But I want to play you guys a clip, and I asked him about Shohei Otani. Obviously wanted to ask him a lot about how you manage Shohei, how you manage the pitcher and the hitter. But one thing in particular stuck out, and it makes so much sense now. But let's play that now. This is about Shohei Otani being the leader that he is, in the words of Phil Nevin. What kind of leader is Shohei Otani in the locker room? We see what he does on the field. His play speaks for itself. But what kind of leader is he for this team? Well, I can tell you, his personality is something that not a lot of people get to see. And uh, unfortunately, it's behind closed doors to get to know Shohei. (laughs) He's just a wonderful human being. Um, He loves this game. Um, I would say as far as people with knowledge about this game, throughout the inner workings and how... Uh, what makes winning players, what are winning plays in a game. Uh, I'm not sure I've been around many better than Shohei, whether it's base running, uh, fundamentals of the game, understanding preparation, understanding what has happened in the past. He can tell you, I'm sure, every player that's ever, that he's ever faced and what he's done. uh, He knows exactly who is swinging the bat well, who's not, and who sees his pitches better. He's, he's so brilliant. Um, it, it almost matches his talent on the field, and that's what makes him great. How cool is that? He's so brilliant, and it almost matches his talent on the field, which we haven't ever seen a talent like him on the field. Um, what th- That is literally the definition of a leader. He has great base running, great fundamentals, a great knowledge of the past, Uh, All of those things he just named, you put all that together and then you put a guy that's doing what he is on the field with his teammates in the dugout. That's a leader. And I've also heard from countless guys, including Phil Nevin at a different part in that interview about the personality he is, the personality, the fun he brings to the locker room. It's truly, it is awesome when you think about it. When you think about how good he is on the field, what he's doing for the game of baseball, and what he's doing as a leader on this team, and in the words of so many of his teammates that I know, and Phil Nevin, this guy is a leader. This guy is a leader. And we saw it in Dodger Stadium when he went through that dugout and he picked up every single one of his teammates that was walking by. That was special. If you haven't, Go back and check out that Phil Nevin conversation. It was just on it was just on this past week's episode of Flippin' Bats. You can scroll through, find that. A lot of Shohei Otani talk, but a lot of good talk about the Angels as well and him taking over and 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 his career as well. So uh what an awesome way to wrap this up. Shohei is a leader. He pitched well in Seattle and he's been hitting well as well. What more could you ask from the guy? Appreciate it while we're watching it. But that does it for this week's. This week in Shohei Otani News. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3 0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213 537 9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.